Whoa! But she looks like bacon! Hello everybody! What's going on? It's your girl Merle and today we're going to be making something. Something that has been around for a long time and is now picking up a little speed on the various platforms, TikTok, Reel, etc, etc. We're going to be making bacon out of rice paper. I have heard, and by heard I mean read online, that this is some of the best vegan bacon you can make. In the original recipe that I'm using today, and the woman who's been doing this for a long time, is Edgy Veg. If you guys don't follow her, check her out. She has amazing vegan recipes. And I'm gonna be following her recipe for this rice paper bacon. So I'm really excited. I've been wanting to try this for a while. And since we all know I love spring rolls, I got a lot of rice paper kicking around in the old kitchen. So with that, let's get rice into it. Oh no, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Seriously though, let's get to bacon. Now we're gonna take two pieces of rice paper and we are going to place them over each other to make our bacon a little thicker. And we're going to quickly, just for a moment, put that in some water just to soften it up a bit. So it's a little bit softer now. I'm gonna take some kitchen scissors and I'm gonna cut these into some bacon strips. So now I'm slicing up my rice paper to look more like strips of bacon. I can see it taking a bit of time to get enough of these so that you have like a decent haul of bacon, but hey, less time than raising and slaughtering a pig though, right? All about perspective, you know? We're gonna start off by making our marinade. I'm pouring in some tamari, nutritional yeast, olive oil, which will serve as the fat. I love a good fatty bacon in my day. Some maple syrup for, you guessed it, sweetness. Garlic power, powder, <laughs> and power. Some smoked paprika, black pepper, and finally, liquid smoke. Now we're just gonna mix that all together. Ooh, I love a nice thick marinade. It smells really good. So I've tried both methods when it comes to actually coating our rice paper bacon. I did the whole dunking thing. I did the whole brushing thing. And you know what? It's just gonna be a little bit of a nightmare either way. Your fingers are gonna get sticky sticky and that's okay. The bottom line is you just want both sides of the vegan bacon to be coated. I'm going to try this marinade actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Kind of has an aftertaste of bologna in a good way. Bologna. Delicious, oh my God. Now it's time to bake. So we're gonna take our bacon strips and we're gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 204 degrees Celsius. You thought I was gonna forget, I get ya? Okay, so let's put it in for about seven to eight minutes. Now what to do while I wait? Should I write a song about bacon? All right, let's go maestro. Don't go bacon my heart. I couldn't if I tried. Ooh, nobody knows me. I forgot to set a timer. I'm, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> wow, okay, I don't know how much time is left. I'm gonna just go by eyeballing it. I'm guessing about two minutes left. And already it looks really cool. I've been admittedly skeptical about not necessarily the taste because I love rice paper. I love the texture, the chewiness. I could see how it could crisp up, but how is it gonna be crispy and chewy like bacon? That's what I wanna know. Whoa! But she looks like bacon, yeah! Whoa, 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 whoa! She's crispy and she's fatty. Wow, look at this beautiful, beautiful bacon. Wow, wow, wow. I had seen it in other videos, but it's really something else. It's breathtaking when you see it in person. I am so impressed by this. Honestly, amazing. You guys know how I roll. I usually keep the judgment out of the kitchen. I just wanna say a quick thing about pigs. They're very intelligent creatures. Some scientists believe that they are even smarter than three-year-old human children and more intelligent than dogs. 97% of pigs in the US are factory farmed. They're horrible living conditions. So any way that you can reduce the amount of pork you're putting in your body is a really good thing for the planet. I'm not saying you're a bad person if you eat bacon real bacon. All I'm saying is the more we can incorporate alternatives to pork, the easier we can be on the planet 
and on the animals. Let's try our vegan bacon. It really does kind of resemble fatty bacon, which is what I used to always really like. Some of the dark crunchy bits, but also some fat. Let's see how she cracks. Ooh, that's a nice sound. I'm gonna brush mine one more time with a marinade. Mmm, wow. Wow, this is really cool. I love that this has a nice crunch to it, like actual bacon does. The look of this thing is spot on. I'm not gonna say that the flavor identically resembles bacon because this has less of the chewy, fatty element to it, but I wonder if you could even double the amount of rice paper that you stacked on top of itself. It might be thicker and it might be a little chewier to balance it out. I think the secret to this whole thing is making sure you paint it with a marinade again once you take it out of the oven. Mm. I'm gonna go out there and say, as far as just like crunching and munching on these, it's less of a bacon experience, but to have this on a BLT would be exceptional. And they carry the flavor of the marinade really, really well. Most important question, did this live up to the hype? I'm gonna say absolutely yes it did. From one to bacon, I would give this like an eight because the texture is really good, the crunch is really nice. The marinade, spot on. Ooh, damn. This is really good. Thank you, Edgy Veg. This is a beautiful, fantastic, easy recipe. Oh my God, I'm about to make like a thousand more of these. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Like and subscribe and let me know what you'd like me to make next. <laughs> the things I do for a laugh.